The healthiest version of you is the best version of you. Over the last few weeks, I started to really focus on uh, my health. You know, health is wealth, and we all know that, you know, you can have all the money in the world, but if you don't take care of yourself, if you don't take care of your health, you know, what's the sense of having all the money, having all the power, having all the riches, if you have so much, you know, health problems to deal with? So over the last couple of weeks, I, I focused on these three things that's helped kickstart my journey toward living the healthiest lifestyle that I can. And some of the changes, like especially if a lot of you guys are on a weight loss journey, you're trying to lose weight, you're trying to focus more, you're trying to be more active, you're trying to you know, produce more results. These are the, some of the key things I'm gonna share in this video that help me optimize, not only lose weight, not only feel better, but also be more driven and focused for me towards reaching my uh, specific goals. The first thing I wanna talk about, which I think a lot of you've heard, it's all over the internet, um, it's not something new, it's intermittent fasting. And intermittent fasting, what, what it is, is there's a period of eating window where you spend a, a lot of hours not eating versus hours that you do eat. But what I did was, thought a lot of people do the 16-8 where they fast for 16 hours and they have an eight hour uh, eating window. I fast for 18 hours and have a six hour eating window. And how that's helped me is that, you know, through my research and development on just understanding the whole process of intermittent fasting, the effects on the body, and what fasting actually does, you know, fasting has amazing, amazing uh, benefits to your body. One of the things that has helped me in trying to, you know, stick to my 18 hour fasting window is that I'm more focused when I'm fasted. Uh, I have more mental clarity. So that means that I can produce more results. I could work longer hours. And as I was just researching, you know, uh, nutrition, you don't necessarily need to eat, you know, eight six meals or three big meals and snack every day because what's happening is that as you're continuously eating you know your body's producing insulin and a lot of us are insulin resistant that's how we have sec uh, type 2 diabetes and what fasting has helped me in my case is regulate my blood sugar keep me focused on not overeating and it's helped lose weight and so I, what i want you guys to do is uh, definitely research the benefits of fasting and what i'm transitioning to now is um, multi-day fasting. Like I'm gonna try to do a 36-hour fast, then I'm gonna try to do a 48-hour fast. And there's, a, there's amazing benefits that it does to your body, uh, especially if you're trying to lose weight. I, I would highly recommend anybody who's trying to lose weight, research intermittent fasting and start fasting because it's an amazing benefit. The second thing that has helped me reach my, reach my full potential in terms of uh, becoming the best version of myself in terms of self-care is dieting and what i've have transitioned over the last few months is you know sticking to more of a raw plant-based uh diet you know eating just raw vegetables and fruits and when i start when i limited the meat when i process foods alcohol all that stuff let me tell you guys like i've i feel great i'm i'm, I'm leaner i'm losing weight uh, i'm more focused and if, when you eat foods that have all those nutrients and it gives value to your body you not only feel different but you look different and you know you get compliments people tell you like oh wow you, you look different it's a different aura of you and it's, it's definitely true you are what you eat and so i started eating more uh vegetables like i would saute some onions some some mushrooms and some spinach and that's my lunch and it's and it tastes delicious it tastes good so try to definitely incorporate more fruits and vegetables you know food that grows from the earth a lot of this processed food bullshit is what's causing your diabetes what's causing your hypertension what's causing you significant amount of problems you know i i've been doing a lot of research and implementing what i've learned and it's had amazing uh benefits uh for me fasting and then then when i do eat you know eating everything that's just grown from the earth it's almost like a lot of like you know when you get headaches or when you feel fatigue a lot of that stuff that you know i was experiencing went away and it's true like when you switch up your diet and when you implement fasting and those two things go hand in hand when you're giving your body the nutrients that it's need not the processed uh bullshit the sugars or uh, all that stuff that's doing damage to your body that causes a lot of uh, issues, you know, especially, you know, over a long period of time. So definitely switch up your nutrition. That's gonna be key and important. You know, I would highly suggest incorporating more uh, vegetables and fruits within your diet. The third thing I'm gonna highly recommend is exercise. Uh, exercise is really important because, you know, especially if you want that aesthetic uh, look, you wanna get, you know, um, you want your muscles to show, uh, you wanna have more a peak performance. You know, definitely incorporate some exercises. Different things work for different people. There's always that debate, cardio versus weights. 
I would suggest do whatever works for you. Just make sure that your nutrition and your diet is on point. That's the most important key factor. And the, the last thing I want to cover and I want to talk about in this video uh, for anybody who's trying to, you know, lose weight, become the best version of yourself, get in the best shape of your life, or just trying to uh, enhance and change and switch up your lifestyle into incorporating more of a healthier lifestyle. And I, and I think this is the number one is your mindset. You can't do the other three things unless you have your mindset in order because that's the highest percentage of what's going to get you the results you need is, is the way you think, what you believe, what you feed your mind with, what you what you put yourself around. That's going to dictate how successful you are in any journey in terms of changing your lifestyle is your mindset. You need that mindset shift in order to develop the habits that's going to help you achieve the goals that you want to set forward. So these are the four things that I really focused on uh, to overall improve my lifestyle, uh, overall, you know, get in better shape and just, you know, become the best version of myself. So I hope this video was helpful for you. Let's get fit. Let's get well. Let's improve our lifestyle.